I first met Will at a toga party in my first week at uni. He was dressed in a costume made 90% of cardboard, 10% string, which he insisted was an accurate scale model of the Trojan horse. Needless to say, even at a Roman party for classic students, R. William was the standout nerd. <laughs> That's quite fun, don't mind. Possible, yeah, that could work. Great. Mm. <clears throat> I first met Will at a pyjama party. He was dressed in a Victorian nightshirt and cap. He'd misjudged it, poor thing, and amid a sea of cider-fueled freshers in skimpy nighties and silk dressing gowns, R. William was the standout nerd. That's not as strong, that one. That's not as funny a mental image, isn't it? Standout nerd. Well, don't do that. It's all right, let's... <clears throat> I first met Will at a... Don't, why are you leaning? You've never been a leaner. You mad gosh, you've leaned in. You, goodness, you've never... Ooh, just be careful. I first met Will. That's too high. Mm. Let's relax. I first met Will at a traffic light party in my fourth week at uni. As a singleton, I uh, wore a green T-shirt denoting available. Uh, others were in red or yellow for, you know, uh, taken or... Well, I don't know what yellow signifies. Probably a weak moral code. <laughs> but our dear William turned up dressed, unsurprisingly, as a lollipop man. <laughs> Unfortunately, Will was the standout. <laughs> Will gets confused by theme parties. <laughs> you can imagine what he wore to his statue. <sighs> One of those is going to work, surely. Shame they're not true. I met Will at university. I spotted him at a toga party, then at a beer pong tournament, then a pyjama party, then the literary society induction drinks, then at a traffic light free for all, and then in some homemade lederhosen at Oktoberfest. He can't recall any of these encounters, but I can. I remember his Terribly misjudged outfits and the drunk chats. Every haircut for the last eight years. His brief foray into curling and his annual sunburnt nose. I've seen it all. It was a genuine honour to stand next to Will at the altar today, as he said, I do, to beautiful Sylvia. on the worst day of my life. Oh. oh, well, I'd like to say thank you to the bridesmaids, all 12 of them, <clears throat> for staying awake during the service. They're mostly sober. Mm. Oh, man, I'd like to thank Will's father, Colin, for forgetting my name twice and afterwards referring to me as that wee funny looking fellow with the teeth. <laughs> To Will's mother, June, for finding countless reasons to grab my face and dropping her evening bag in front of me and slowly bending over to retrieve it. And, of course, for inappropriately touching my upper thigh during the photographs. A huge thank you to Will's sister, Roy Sheen, for spawning a four-year-old demon in a bow tie. It must be a great effort to willfully ignore your son's undiagnosed ADHD and supply him with that hourly fix of e-numbers. <laughs> you can imagine my pure delight when the little beast sat on the wedding cake, which I had to drive here 50 miles from a gluten-free bakery. Here's wishing William and Sylvia a short and troubled marriage. I hope it's a speedy divorce with no children to complicate matters. <laughs> So if you all like to raise your glasses, including, <laughs> including the six guests who've had one night stands with the groom and the bride's ex-boyfriend, who she's still on really good terms with. Oh, bloody hell. Who she's still on really good terms with, you know? Even though he's been invited here in some weird act of bitter revenge. Bloody thing. Cheers, everyone. Hip, hip. 
Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! Why is that so sharp? Shit, a brick that hurts! Goodness! Why is it held on the pin nowadays? Bloody medieval! Oh, now it's bleeding. Okay, okay, don't look at the blood. Don't look at the... Oh, gosh, okay. You're gonna be fine, just breathe. You're this typical Raymond. That is absolutely fine. Just don't look at it. Oh, great! Blood on the speech cards! No, 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 no! Mmm! Okay. Typical Ray, just, you're going to be fine, just breathe. You're going to be fine as, oh, don't look at the blood, don't look at the blood. Okay, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. You are just, you just need to sit down and so, just supply some, mm, some pressure, that's it. You're absolutely fine. Just sit down and breathe. Just don't look at the blood. Okay, you're fine. You're not going to pass out. You haven't got a headache. You're not lightheaded. You're not going to faint. Not this time. You're fine. You can, oh. You can breathe, you can breathe, you can breathe, you're fine, you're fine, you can breathe, you're absolutely fine, you're okay, you're fine!